We know that the engine cannot run by itself immediately. There must be a trigger to drive the crankshaft for combustion to occur. After the first combustion, the engine will run. This trigger mechanism is known as the starting system. The electronic starting system is an engine trigger mechanism that uses an electric motor as the driving force. In simple terms, this system uses the electrical energy stored in the battery to power the starter motor. The starter motor is connected to the flywheel, so that the starter motor can rotate the crankshaft. But the question, how does the starter motor work? We will discuss it. If you see this device, there are two parts, the electric motor and the starter solenoid. First, we will discuss the electric motor. The electric motor used in the starter system is a DC motor. This motor works just like DC electric motor in general. In simple terms, an electric motor is able to convert electrical energy into physical energy because there is magnetism. We have to understand Fleming left hand rules. This rule describes the relationship between the magnetic field, the current direction, and the iron core movement. For the example, I have a permanent magnet. In the middle of the magnet, there is an iron core wrapped around a wire. This is the direction of the magnetic field, and this is the direction of the electric current. Based on the Fleming left hand rule, we know where the iron core movement. The iron core will move upward. Then, we enlarge the magnet and we turn the iron core into something like this. What happened? A rotation will be formed, because the electric current direction in the iron core is opposite. So that the iron core movement is also reversed. It makes the iron core rotate. To get the rotation to be smoother, we add some segments. If like this, then the rotation is smoother. Now we go back to the starter motor. Inside the starter motor, there are two coils. Field coil, and armature coil. Field coil used to produce a magnetic field. Field coil is used as a substitute for permanent magnet, because the magnetic field in the permanent magnet is not strong enough. So we need to create a strong magnetic field using a coil. While the armature coil is the copper wrapped around the iron core in the rotor. When the two components are electrified, great magnetic field occur on the two parts. It result a motion which makes the rotor rotate. Next, we will discuss the solenoid starter. This component serves to drive the starter gear to connect with the flywheel, and to connect the current from the battery to the electric motor. Solenoid, also use a magnetic fields. But in the solenoid, the coil is not attached to the iron core. So that the iron core can move freely. In this position, when the coil is electrified, a magnetic field is formed. This magnetic field makes the iron core in the middle of the coil move according to the direction of the magnetic field. This movement of the iron core is used to carry out these two functions. As you can see, when the core moved, the starter gear fork lifted up. So that the starter gear is pushed out. While at the other point, there is a plate. When the core moves, this plate will stick to the two terminals, these two terminals are the battery input terminal and the motor input terminal. So that when the two terminals are connected, the current from the battery is connected to the starter motor. So that the starter motor works. When the current in the solenoid is cut off, the magnetic field is lost. So that the iron core is no longer pushed, this time the return spring pushes the iron core back to its original position. So that the starter gear comes back in, and the starter motor off. So, 
the control of the starter system is on the solenoid. Therefore, the ignition key as a switch is installed in the solenoid line and not in the starter motor line. That's an explanation of the starting system, subscribe and stay tuned for the next videos.